Hi everyone, it's Susan. Hope you guys are all having a great day. It is my turn to share my project for the first annual Octoboo Halloween YouTube Hop. So I hope you guys are all having an awesome time checking out our videos every day and collecting all the secret words so that way you can turn those in on Friday and uh, make sure that you PM um, private message Shonda on Friday with all the words in order so that way you can get entered um, for the great prizes. Remember she has a $75 store credit at her local scrapbook store and then she for second and third prize she's going to be mailing out some really fun goodies for you guys to play around with. So good luck to everyone and I hope you're having a good time. Thank you so much Shonda for inviting me to do this. Um, it was really fun. I enjoyed creating my project and um, for those of you that don't know I absolutely love Halloween it's really really fun I think it's just such a fun um, I don't know if it's a holiday but for me it's a fun holiday because you can just get so festive and have fun without a ton of work and a ton of stress so for me Halloween is just so much fun and I really enjoy having the kids all come for trick-or-treating my husband and I go all out and we get a lot of stuff for the kids that come to our house so it's it's a lot of fun so let me first of all share with you um, some of the things that I used on my project the first thing is I used the 12 by 12 Halloween paper pad from me and my big ideas and I got this at Hobby Lobby two years ago and it's just your traditional Halloween colors and um, really a fun paper pad so I had some left so I wanted to use some of those and then I also used um, the Spellbinders Ribbon Banners LG set which Shonda had gotten me thank you Shonda really fun to use and then I use the, which I just got this recently, the Paper Studio Embossing Folder, and it is the Spiderweb one. Really, really fun. And then I use two Memory Box dies, and now if you guys have not tried these dies, you have to try them. They are amazing. They cut beautifully. They're very intricate and delicate, but they just cut perfect. And they're easy you know they don't you don't have a hard time getting them out of the die itself they come out real easily and they're absolutely gorgeous so the first one I used is this Lucia ornament one now I only use the whole ornament is beautiful and I can't wait to use it for Christmas projects but I just cut it off here and use the swirls at the top so I use two of those and then I use this Locina buckle and um, thanks again, Shonda. She got me all my, I have a bunch of these memory box dies and she bought them all for me and I love them. And I used it this way. So absolutely gorgeous. So here is my project. And it is just a lime green and white um, treat bag that I had got, I believe, either at Target or my local scrapbook store. And I just went ahead and decorated it up. So there's the buckle there at the bottom. And I just used some Hobby Lobby orange ribbon to tie around. In the background here, I used a piece of the black and white paper and cut fishtail banner at the bottom. And um, above that, I just used my new Cricut rosette die, or cartridge, excuse me, and um, just layered up some of the different um, shapes in there, the scallop circle behind, and then I put on some tool, some black and green glitter tool, and then I cut out the another scallop circle with the little notches cut out there, and then I put the rosette on top of that, and this rosette has little spiders all around it, which is really fun, and I loved using that foil purple paper, and then I used a bottle cap from Hobby Lobby. You just use my paper punch, my one inch to cut out a circle out of the bottom and then use some um, glossy accents and some glitter in there and um, that is about it. So really, really fun you guys. Um, really had a lot of fun creating it and I want to create some more of these treat bags. They're really fun for Halloween. So I hope you guys are all having um, a great time this week following along. I'd like to tell you that the word for today is the, or the, however you pronounce it. So the word today is the, T-H-E. So I hope you guys are all having an awesome day. Thank you for stopping by. Love ya. Bye.